We present seeth. A pipeline for single view textured human reconstruction, leveraging image condition diffusion models. Our goal with Sith is to generate a corresponding 3D mesh and textures from a single image of a human body. However, this task is ill posed and comes with two primary challenges. First, the lack of visual information in unobserved regions. And second, the ambiguity of extracting 3D information from 2D images. While previous methods have attempted to learn data-driven models that map 2D images to 3D meshes, they often face difficulties with unseen images and poses, primarily due to the limited number of 3D training scans available. To address these challenges, we propose a two-stage pipeline, decomposing the problem into hallucination and reconstruction subproblems. For hallucination, we harness the generative capabilities of diffusion models to infer unobserved backview appearances from the input images. For reconstruction, we utilize a skinned body mesh, providing essential 3D guidance for accurate human mesh reconstruction. This decomposition strategy allows our pipeline to be trained efficiently with just 500 3D scans, while still robustly handling unseen images. We now describe how we train and incorporate an image condition diffusion model within our pipeline. We start with a 3D human dataset, rendering both front and back view images for training. To learn a distribution of back images conditioned on a front image, we employ a pre-trained latent diffusion model. However, this model alone is not sufficient for generating back images that are perceptually consistent and spatially aligned with the front images. To address this, we implemented two key modifications to the model. First, we introduced image conditioning via a pre-trained clip image encoder. This ensures the output images maintain visual consistency with the front view images. Additionally, we render UV maps from the simple X-body mesh and extract silhouette masks from the back view images. The UV maps and the masks provide additional control that aligns the human poses in the output images. During training, we perturb the image latent ZT with random noise. The diffusion model is trained to predict this added noise, conditioned on the front view images, UV maps, and silhouette masks. In the inference stage, we use the input images as conditions. We further predict UV maps and silhouette masks using an off-the-shelf pose estimator and mask predictor. Backview images are then generated through an iterative denoising process and decoded using a pre-trained VAE decoder. Once we have the back view images, we move to the next stage, reconstructing 3D textured meshes guided by both sets of images and the skinned body mesh. Given front and back images, we predict surface normals for both images via a learned normal predictor. Training and inference require queries of features from both color and normal images. To achieve this, we align the simple X body meshes with these images in 3D space. A query point X is then projected onto the 2D images to retrieve texture and geometry features. To fully utilize the body mesh as guidance, we develop a positional embedding function. This function maps the global coordinates of X to the local coordinates of the body mesh. Finally, the local positional embeddings, along with the corresponding features, are fed to two MLPs that predict the color and SDF at point X. In our experiments, we follow ICON using the CAKE dataset as an evaluation benchmark. Moreover, we create a new benchmark with the high-quality Custom Humans dataset to complement the quality of diversity of the CAPE dataset. We visually compare the reconstructed mesh across different baselines. Our method produces realistic clothing details in unobserved regions. Compared with methods generating colors, our approach also hallucinates realistic back view appearances. When reconstructing a coat, our method generates geometric details such as wrinkles and hood, outperforming others that tend to produce smoother surfaces. Importantly, our back view textures maintain perceptual consistency with the input images. We also compare with optimization-based methods that use pre-trained diffusion models. 
While these methods are capable of hallucinating appearances, they often struggle with inferring the underlying geometric details. Notably, these methods require extensive optimization times, whereas our approach can generate a high-quality mesh in approximately two minutes. Inheriting the generative power of diffusion models, we show that Sith generalizes to unseen images effectively. We further showcase a novel 3D creation application, combining our pipeline with a text-to-image diffusion model. Sith produces lifelike 3D textured humans from AI-generated images and the given body poses. For more comprehensive experiments and details, please refer to our paper. Thank you.